Well, welcome. Welcome to our spring 2021 Launch Lab Growth Demo Day. Unfortunately, we're hosting another one of these virtually, but as always, you're going to love meeting these companies. I'm Luann Flanders Steck, the Executive Vice President of Entrepreneurship for Launch Greensboro, the Entrepreneurship Initiative of the Greensboro Chamber of Commerce. And we're here this evening to celebrate 11 companies that have completed our spring 2021 Launch Lab Growth Accelerator Program. I could spend time talking about how we all wish we were together, celebrating the success of these companies and meeting in them in person. But unfortunately, we still can't be safely together. So as we keep saying in our community and to each other, let's do all we need to do to be safe and well, so that in December, we can celebrate our fall cohort together in person. So as we begin our time together this evening, we're excited to share this video announcement of our new partnership with Transform Greensboro. As you will see, we truly believe that Launch Greensboro co-locating and partnering with Transform will provide the opportunity for entrepreneurs at the earliest stages to connect, learn, and grow. So sit back and enjoy this brief video announcement of this exciting new partnership and op opportunity for entrepreneurs in Greensboro, Guilford County, and our region. My name's Andy Zimmerman. Welcome to Transform Greensboro. I'm gonna walk you through our original space and then we're gonna head over to our expansion space. Our community room is here. This is where everybody gathers together and also our member side of Transform Greensboro. And then this is the office side. Uh, we have 26 offices on this side three conference rooms and another floor upstairs. So we're in back of Transform Greensboro and uh, it's a very short walk over to our new expansion space at the old Bluebell building. So on the office side we'll have 52 offices, private phone booths, four state-of-the-art conference rooms, a classroom that seats up to 75 people, and the event space. The reason for our expansion is creating a better ecosystem for entrepreneurship in Greensboro. We're really excited about our partnership with Launch Greensboro and the Chamber. Launch Greensboro does such a fantastic job at programming and they really know how to connect with entrepreneurs in the area. That We are really strong at providing an inspirational workspace for people to operate out of. So we thought, why don't we marry those two things together and create this amazing hub of innovation. Launch Greensboro as the entrepreneurship arm of the Greensboro Chamber of Commerce supports entrepreneurs as they start build and grow their business. At CoLab we've had one classroom and we've had one conference room. And now we've got multiple conference rooms. We've got a large classroom and we even have a space large enough where we can host our demo days. In five years, as a result of this partnership, I really see the Innovation District build out from here to Nussbaum Center, creating a new business culture of early stage startup ecosystem. I think the collaboration is gonna be very powerful. So join us at the new space, which offers communal co-working, private offices, meeting, and event space. Contact the team at Transform to schedule your hard hat tour, meet with a leasing agent, and begin envisioning your business on the South End. And as with most of our Launch Lab demo days, I'm your guide for the evening. I have to start by saying that there are so many others who actually make this evening work and we will recognize them throughout the evening. But I must say first, thank you to our staff and volunteers. And thanks again to you for being here and welcome to the real reason we're here tonight, to meet these companies. So let's provide a little context. I said it in May and December and March at Capital Connects and I'll say it again. The last few months have been interesting to say the least. Again, this spring, we've not had the opportunity to meet with any of these companies in person and every aspect of our program has been virtual. And those of you who work with entrepreneurs know how important really connecting face-to-face -face with entrepreneurs is, but once again, this great group of companies has made it work. They've done an amazing job connecting, networking, and learning from each other. And as you watch these pitches, you'll see evidence of how much they've progressed, and we know they will continue to grow, and you get to watch that too. 
So this year, I'm introducing the companies and groups with our usual commercials between each of them. So let me introduce the first three companies that have completed our spring 2021 Launch Lab Growth Accelerator Program. Jackson Hogard with Double Hung Historic, successfully restoring windows, shutters, and doors since 1997. They get your old windows working again. Stephanie McMillan, founder of Rise and Flow Yoga at Rise and Flow. They hold space for people of all backgrounds and experiences to practice yoga in a welcoming and safe environment. And Shafna Shamsuddin from Elika Treats, where her Indian and Arabic background inspire the cardamom-infused ice cream with locally sourced ingredients from her current home in Greensboro. Hi, I'm Jackson Hogger with Double Hump. From my family's garage in the Dunleith Historic District back around 1997, my dad, David, began helping neighbors repair their windows. After constantly being sought out for help and advice, David decided to start a business offering window repair services. In 2003, we were contracted to do our first commercial project and grew out of the garage to our first shop. Year after year, demand keeps growing, and so do we. From four people in the garage to 40 full-time employees, we have exciting plans to continue our growth and help ensure window repair is the choice made everywhere, every time. Growing from under 200,000 in 2005, to just over 1 million in 2015, our annual revenue has steadily grown as the market continues to develop. Through the pandemic, we have shown resilience and are currently on track to exceed 3 million by the end of 2021. Our growth stems from strategic planning by my dad and many others who are fueled by their desire to disrupt the window replacement industry and offer window owners a much better value than planned obsolescence. Around nine years ago, when dad and I began planning the future of Double Hung, I got my degree in construction management and set out to learn how great companies manage projects and most importantly, their people. For the last seven years, I've worked for two of the country's best builders, helping to deliver over 200 million in completed projects across seven different markets. I've worked alongside hundreds of trade workers, designers, and building owners to gain expertise, experience, and relationships that will help Double Hung as we continue our expansion. We are a proven leader in both the residential and commercial window repair segments, and to continue leading our industry forward, we are developing a window repair factory model that will allow us to help save more windows, create more jobs, and increase our share of the available market. Our mission is big, meaningful, but simple. We will help save 1 million windows from the landfill by the year 2050. Double Hung will do for the window repair industry what Toyota has done for the car industry. With innovation, sustainability, and enjoyment at our core, we will continue to change the $4 billion world of window replacement, one repair at a time. Using the National Register of Historic Places as our roadmap, we have identified five key target markets with high demand for our services. Two years ago, we began our first expansion into both Charleston and Savannah and have seen a great response. We plan to operate in all five markets within the next five years. Like many small businesses, we manage by spreadsheet, paper, and siloed systems. While quite successful, we have room to improve. We are now able to track all of our business functions, product, production processes, and KPIs like never before. We are now able to track every item as it moves through our seven-step repair process and plan and communicate more confidently and have leveraged our historical cost data to automate our pricing. We are serving more customers without compromising the quality that has built our brand. But most importantly, we're empowering our employees to have more autonomy in the workplace and allow them to better understand how they impact the success of our company every day. Taking on the window replacement industry is no small feat and we can't do it alone. So around six years ago, we co-founded the Window Preservation Alliance, a national nonprofit aimed at educating window owners, businesses, and industry leaders about the science and great value of window repair. From the founding seven businesses, the Alliance has grown to over 160 members with representation in almost every state. Hundreds of jobs are being created and thousands of windows are being saved every year. Together, we are making a significant and sustainable impact to our environment and our economy. As our grassroots movement taking on the window replacement industry continues, Double Hung is positioned to allow other businesses to provide window repair services with less risk and less investment. Our new model allows us both to share profits as we take back market share from the window placement regime. Come join our movement and help us make window repair cho the choice made for every window, everywhere, every time.
Hi, my name is Stephanie McMillan, owner and founder of Rise and Flow, a virtual yoga studio for people seeking peace and harmony. Rise and Flow offers on-demand and live virtual yoga sessions. Together, we are creating a space to build community and fight mental health stigmas one yogi at a time. Each yogi makes up our Rise and Flow family through memberships, private yoga sessions, and corporate trainings. We make yoga accessible and adaptable to your daily life. Rise and Flow began as a brick and mortar location on Coliseum Boulevard in Greensboro. Open for nearly three years, Rise and Flow welcomed the Glenwood community and beyond for yoga after work. As the pandemic set in, we were the first to transition to virtual classes and welcome students from Maryland, California, New York, and other states across the nation. Our geographic reach was bigger than we imagined. Rise and Flow pivoted our business plan to reflect a cost-effective growth strategy. And since becoming all virtual, we have seen new opportunities for growth. We have cultivated great community partners in Greensboro, like Athleta, Omega Sports, and DGSO, and continue to shift the narrative of yoga together. Our knowledge and expertise off the mat sets us apart from our competition. Rise and Flow is now a group of five yoga instructors, all Black women leaders, making up nearly 50 years of experience. With backgrounds in elementary education, expansive social justice studies, biology, health communication, Asian studies, a rising physical therapist, even a Bennett College professor and senior editor at Yoga Journal, mental health first aiders, and the list goes on. Our competitors are offering similar services, but we take it a step further. Each session begins with awareness and knowledge to an audience that has never practiced yoga before. My journey as a yoga student started by walking into a popular yoga space surrounded by my white counterparts. I was asked questions like, have you practiced before? Or do you know that this is the advanced class? Little did people know I have studied yoga in depth. I didn't see anyone like me and I felt ostracized. I never went back. At Rise and Flow, we are creating a space where minorities can practice yoga without judgment of skin or capability. And all of the verbiage and measures that we have in place solve the need for inclusion and diversity. My favorite moment was when a mom was attending class and a daughter walked in and said, she looks like me. My heart melted. That is Rise and Flow. We want to be the hope for minorities, young and old, that they can yoga too. We will expand our offerings into tangible services in the future. And currently, we are fighting the stigmas of minority trauma and mental health challenges every day. But we need your help to keep the conversation going. According to Mental Health Greensboro, 47% of people sheltering in place during this pandemic have reported negative mental health effects. We know that yoga can help cope and heal. I challenge each of you tonight to share Rise and Flow with two corporations in our city seeking mental health and well-being for their team and two families in need of community and peace. My name is Stephanie McMillan with Rise and Flow. Hi, I'm Shafna Shamsuddin and I'm the founder and creator of Elika Treats. At Elika Treats, we sell stories and smiles. Inspired by my Indian and Middle Eastern heritage, we make all natural premium and premium Indian and Middle Eastern flavored frozen treats infused with our signature ingredient, cardamom, aka elaka. Recreating treats, flavors, and experiences I grew up with, our creative product line provides a sweet and unique opportunity to explore parts of the globe with authentic flavors right at your home. Except for kulfi, all our flavors are creatively inspired by my experiences uh, using unconventional ingredients and unique bases. Along with our commitment to recreate authentic flavors using traditional methods with all natural ingredients, we're also committed to sustainable sources for our ingredients and packaging by using local ingredients and environment-friendly packaging. In line with our commitment to cre creating a healthy ecosystem, we, we use locally sourced North Carolina ingredients to support local businesses and donate and raise funds for our local community partners. 
Here are some of our collaboration, local collaborations. We are also proud to partner with and donate portions of proceeds to the Greensboro Urban Ministry and Table as our business is more established in Greensboro and Chapel Hill areas. Our current business model is direct business to consumer model as approved by NCDA, therefore retailing at farmers markets, participating in pop-up events, catering events, and offering home deliveries and pickups via e-commerce. These are our current markets. We have seen a steady increase in our revenue since our launch in June 2020, when we started with one market a week and home delivery in Greensboro. Since August, we branched out to more farmers markets, bringing in more revenue and establishing brand recognition in the Triangle area with sales peaking during holiday season as expected, which also helped in maintaining some sales momentum during winter seasons at our markets. Our sales are predominantly generated from markets with more than 80%, followed by e-commerce, business-to-business collaborations, that is with the Durham Hotel and catering events. Our goals are to establish our brand as the ultimate luxury and premium quality ice cream brand across the state and globally as a North Carolina-made North Carolina made product by shifting towards business-to-business -to -business sales by our sales model by establishing wholesale distribution with retailers, caterers, restaurants, hotels, and airlines. Our first step is to establish a product production facility in Greensboro as this is our home. At present, we produce from Hillsboro. Our next step is to invest in a pasteurizing machine to be approved for wholesale by NCDA, followed by investing in high volume ice cream maker, establish business with local and national retailer chains, and finally scale up for national and international distribution. Our request from this audience today is for the consideration of a production space, 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 especially a space with the, like the kiosks at Labauer Park that draws more than 200,000 visitors annually from a diverse crowd and is a year-round recreational spot for families. In line with our premium brand image, these kiosks makes this location an ideal location for Elica treats. Finally, to end this presentation on a more sentimental note, here are the two main reasons to this endeavor and pursuit. My son and the city of, and the city of Greensboro, two things that I've completely fallen in love with. Thank you. So thank you, Jackson, Stephanie, and Shafna for kicking off our evening of presentations. If you, need, if you have a need for restored windows or doors, a safe place for yoga practice, or a special treat, now you know who to call. If you've joined us in the past, we take a few quick commercial breaks throughout the program. So our first break is to say thank you to the many people that share their experiences and expertise with our cohort companies. This year, we've had 15 amazing individuals provide education through our program offering. So a very big thank you to all of them. Jen and I could not do our work without you. Additionally, here at Launch Greensboro, we host many programs throughout the year, from launch camps to Capital Connects, and right now we're recruiting for our next Launch Lab 101 Accelerator program session. This program runs for five weeks and covers the topics you would expect for a 101 series, from customer definition and reach to legal aspects of opening your business to how to manage your financial records. The program this fall will start August 2nd and run through the 30th. We'll determine later if this program will be virtual or in person, and we'll keep you posted on that. But if you know anyone that is starting a business or you're starting one yourself, please reach out to us via online application found at launchgreensboro.com or on the bit.ly link on the screen. So now let's welcome our next three presenting companies, a fine line striping service and their CEO, Erica Parker. So if you own a building, remember your parking lot is one of the first things your customers see. So let a fine line make certain you make the best first impression. Sandris Jackson, founder of Chloe the Jumbo Jet, providing education and entertainment for children interested in travel and the cultures around the world. And Jessica and Veronica, the co-founders of Saunders Specialty Market, bringing the best of local 100% plant-based and top eight allergen-free foods to you in their downtown Greensboro location. Thank you. 
If you've ever driven or ridden in a car before, you have experienced the raft of the pothole. At a fine line, we strive to make our roads safe. In order to do so, we take the time to work with our clients to make sure that their potholes are filled. Once we fill the potholes and seal the cracks, we then go over the lots with a coating of seal coat. The seal coat provides a safety measure for your parking lot. It protects it from all the elements that affect it and break down the lot into the cracks and what eventually becomes the potholes. Once we have filled the potholes and all the cracks, we've sealed it to make the parking lot smooth again. We also make the parking lots look stunning by adding all the different stripings that need to be in place so that you can park safe. We service all different kinds of projects. We've worked with parking debts. We've worked with houses of worship. We've worked with apartment complexes and office complexes. Here's a list of some of our clients that we service on a regular basis. Financially, we will project, we are projecting that we will increase our revenues by 51% over what we did last year. Here's how you can help us. If you are driving home or you are driving to work and you hit a pothole, we want you to take a picture of that pothole and email us at ispyuglylot at afinelinestriping.com. If you provide us with the address and the picture, we will reach out to the client and speak with them about repairing their lots. If we win a contract, we will provide you with a referral fee. So remember, as you're driving along, if you spy an ugly lot, email a picture of it to I spy ugly lot at a fine Thank you. We believe that all humans are beautiful and should be treated with dignity, fairness, and respect. But how do you get kids to believe that so that they can grow up to be adults who believe that too? My name is Sanders Jackson, creator and founder of Chloe the Jumbo Jet, a children's character that introduces children to travel and cultures all around the world while teaching them about diversity and inclusion. I've been fortunate to visit over 15 countries and 42 states. To this day, I have a childlike fascination with jumbo jets. They represent learning new things, being somewhere you've never been, doing things you've never done, and meeting new people. I'm always captivated by the toddler at the airport waiting to board their first flight full of excitement and a million questions. In the wake of recent, ra recent racial tensions and civic unrest around the world, diversity and inclusion has become a topic at the forefront of every conversation. My product fits into the kids' DEI and anti-racism spaces. Even though DEI conversations are a hot topic, the need to educate our children about these topics will never go away. Chloe the Jumbo Jet services children ages four to eight, but of course their parents and educators are our customers. Our customers can be broken into three segments anti-racism parents who desire to educate their kids about diversity and inclusion, travel parents who enjoy family travel and seek out kid-friendly destinations and activities, and educators who are seeking curriculum aligned material and activities to navigate sensitive conversations with their class in a non-confrontational and age-appropriate manner. We reach our customers through word of mouth and social media marketing, as well as paid and organic search and direct outreach to school systems and educational institutions. There's a great deal of competition in the kids' DEI market. Super Wings is our biggest competitor, but Chloe the Jumbo Jet has a few things going for her. In our stories, kids are immersed into the travel experience, much like Mrs. Frizzle in the Magic School Bus. This way, kids become a part of the journey and not just an observer. Our products directly address issues of stereotyping and bullying and help children to model culturally sensitive behavior and interactions, a strategy that is right for school environments. And unlike many other DEI products that address the world from a singular perspective, Chloe the Jumbo Jet extends from a global perspective that encompasses appreciation for all cultures. Currently, we make money through book sales, animation streams, and in-app advertising. 
Over the past eight weeks, we have worked with an expert in commercialization and go-to-market strategy. We've repriced our books from $12.99 to a range of $9.49 to $9.99. We've revised our content strategy to include keywords such as cultural diversity and anti-racism so that we can be found in search. We've included a NAS strategy that, that, that will allow us to acquire customers at a CAC of 50 cents. Our plan is to drive to 200 book sales per month and 25 classroom licenses per quarter, which will produce a revenue of $73,880. In addition to classroom licensing, our long-term strategy is to create partnerships that greatly expand the reach and capacity of Clothe the Jumbo Jet. Partnerships opportunities include streaming distribution, in-flight entertainment for kids on airliners, seatback activities, and Chloe the Jumbo Jet branded snack packs to enjoy on the flight. We also envision a brand of Chloe themed airport centers where kids can burn all of their energy while mom and dad enjoy a nice dinner and a glass of wine pre-flight. And of course, we intend to add merchandise such as luggage, clothing, and toys. The sky's the limit, pun intended. Living on a military base in Turkey from ages four to nine, I experienced firsthand how children stereotype. I came home crying after a little girl in the playground told me her mom said that she couldn't play with kids that had a black face. I wish that family could have seen the beauty of diversity and live out the values of inclusion. If you agree, I ask that you share Chloe and download our new app. We'd be grateful for any intros to schools into a, as a foray into our classroom licensing model. And third and fourth, we'd appreciate any introductions to anyone who is familiar with the airport procurement process or pitching to a streaming distribution network. Thank you for your time and see you in the sky. Hi, I'm Jessica and this is Veronica, the young Sondra Mind and Body and the new kind of wellness expert. Our storefront cafe is repositioning itself to include a specialty food market that focuses on healthy food for everyone. We will be moving forward, known as Sondra Specialty Market, located in downtown Greensboro. With our knowledge and expertise in the food and wellness industry, our market and cafe will carry the best and newest plant-based and allergen-free food and drink. We offer food that your body and mind will love. It's more than just comfort and convenience, it's nourishment. Combined, we have a very unique background. Um, here's a snapshot of our many lives we've lived before now. We have a passion for high quality, meaningful food. We understand through our own personal journeys that everyone wants to eat healthy and that everyone eats healthy differently. Our customers are people that are interested in health and wellness with a focus on specialty diets and preferences. We'll be reaching our customers through digital ads and marketing, plus our wellness centers established client base consistently walking through stores. We are lucky to have a built-in referral system formed by our unique business model. For example, a typical massage therapist, float center, or MD focused in nutrition would most likely not have a juice bar or specialty market carrying foods to support their clients' needs right outside their office doors. And all of our Sonder staff are cross-trained to promote all the health and wellness benefits in our center, as well as the specialty market and cafe. So pre-COVID, we had a full-service cafe serving breakfast and lunch with a focus and following on plant-based and coffee and allergies. You can see our business growth um, from opening May 2018 to right when we closed due to um, COVID-19. Now we're repositioning ourselves as a specialty market, providing mindful, plant-based, allergen-free focused products that are all in one place and easy to find. First, while still selling cold press juices, coffee, and smoothies. This graph, these graphs represent our monthly profit pro projections and our profit margins between the cafe and market. And after year one, we expect to have our cafe making about five to 15% profit at the market, and the market will be growing at an industry average of 15%. In the future, we will expand by creating branded online content and curating specialized kits that ship nationwide from our super cool market. We already have a strong following of people who trust our knowledge and expertise when it comes to food. We've researched and have created relationships with every brand that we carry in our market. Every product we see is there with intention. We've curated top quality products from across the country while also supporting local vendors. Over 50% of our products are made by women and BIPOC owned businesses. We also have created a customized ID label system for people to be able to walk in and quickly know what's safe for them to eat. This graph shows that people are choosing to eat more plant-based foods for a wide variety of reasons. Just look at Burger King and Taco Bell. They all are selling plant-based options. This is a market, thankfully, that's just gonna grow and grow. 
We serve this growing market interested in attaining wellness by offering all of this under one roof. Our company is always evolving. We are firm believers in being the change we want to see in the world when it comes to our planet and our personal health. We are here to help you discover, introduce, and support products that meet our and your high standards. We would love for you to come into Saunders Specialty Market. We carry products that you probably haven't seen before, and we have something for everyone. We've curated these things to save you time and money. Come help us blow our first quarter projections out of the water. Most importantly, if you have a friend who has an interest in health and wellness, including any dietary restrictions, bring them in with you and or support us by purchasing a gift card. We look forward to seeing, seeing you. So thank you again, Erica, Siandris, and Jessica and Veronica. If you have a parking lot without well-defined spaces, have children or grandchildren to share travel experiences with, or want plant-based foods, again, reach out to the three, those three companies. As most of you know, this program would not be as successful as it is without the work of our interns and many volunteers. This year, we have three great student interns working with these companies. So thank you, Drew Council and Luke Bacor from UNCG and Meredith McKenzie from Elon University. They've completed some great projects and work for our companies this year. And I'm certain that the companies, as well as Jen and I, are thanking you virtually as we speak right now. And now you can to meet our mentors. Again, their work with and for these companies is instrumental in the success of our program, as well as the progress of the cohort companies. So thank you to these amazing mentors. Many of them have supported growth companies for years and years. So we truly, truly appreciate your help. And I'm again certain that these companies are thanking you virtually right now. So to our next three presenting companies, Ashley Odom, founder of Ashland Staffing Solutions, providing compassionate, experienced healthcare professionals filling temporary needs to maintain patient to staff ratios. Summer Sides with GX United. They're on a mission to elevate the group fitness experience by providing the ultimate group resource hub and Triad Cleaning Company with co-founder Jaquiel Fitzpatrick, the place to call if you need your home or office cared for. Hi, my name is Ashley Odom, founder of Ashland Staffing Solutions. For long and short-term healthcare facilities who struggle with maintaining a healthy nurse to patient ratio, our staffing services facilitates temporary placements of RNs, LPNs, and CNAs to improve quality of care and to meet staffing standards. We are on a mission to change the narrative around healthcare facilities to ensure smooth operations during staffing shortages and to bring families peace of mind. The impending shortage of healthcare workers has been a main topic of discussion for over a decade. There are many contributing factors, the aging population generating a greater need for care, the aging healthcare worker who is retiring, the increase in chronic diseases, the capacity, limited capacity in education programs, and last but not least, the pandemic, especially with the increase in unemployment pay rates. During staffing shortages, overburdened nurses can become weary, leading to misinterpretation of instructions, mistakes with medications, and patients being shortchanged on care, which leads to insufficient levels of care. Ashland Staffing Solutions has a bountiful inventory of RNs, LPNs, and CNAs ready to step in at a moment's notice to serve our clients. We extensively and vigorously vet our employees with a rigid qualifying process. As a highly qualified and reputable uh, medical staffing agency, we protect the facility and the bottom line by providing utmost inpatient care. Our, staff, our services allow you to focus on your core business while we take care of all your HR and staffing needs. We've established a business-to-business -business revenue model, which allows us to offer long-term contracts and per diem shifts to ensure you are properly covered. Over the next three years, we predict uh, to grow our inventory and available skilled nurses tremendously. We anticipate 140% increase in year two and 120% increase in year three due to adding additional staff, adding allied and home care services and expanding across state lines. 
Since our conception in October 2020, we have accomplished many milestones. In quarter two of 2021, we've increased staff. We secured our fourth contract. In May 15th, we will um, launch our website. And in June, we will expand into the eastern part of North Carolina and develop some scheduling technology to help ease some of our clients' pain points. As a founder and CEO, I have over 12 years of experience in operations and human resources. Our medical staff has at least five years of experience and all are certified or licensed through the North Carolina Board of Nursing. Medical staffing is a saturated market. Our top three competitors are listed above. We spend time getting to know each customer and their culture. We utilize that insight to provide the perfect candidate to live out our mission and vision um, through your, your senior living communities. Today, we ask for $100,000 in grants and con support to help with cash flow assistance due to long payment terms and to ensure that payment, excuse me, to ensure that payroll is secured. And to, in order to move into the home care space, we need a physical location. To be industry leaders, we need to continuously train and educate our staff. Hiring administrative staff will assist with bringing our clients and employees better customer service and just taking our customer service to the next level. Investing in Ashland Staffing Solutions is investing in Greensboro. Your grant and support um, can assist with new job creation, developing of new technology and offering affordable training to help stimulate the local economy. We are excited and welcome any introductions to quality staff and potential clients. We believe in matching exceptional healthcare workers with exceptional facilities. We hope you take the time to come visit us during the breakout session. Thank you. I was a junior in high school and I came home one day and said, mom and dad, I want to be a group fitness instructor. They looked at me and like any loving parent does said, okay. Little did they know that would start a 20-year love affair with the world of group fitness. Hey guys, I'm Summerside. I'm the founder of GX United and a total group fitness nerd. Since that day, I've taught thousands and thousands of group fitness classes, obtained higher education and exercise science and many top industry certifications, worked as a professor of exercise science, and traveled the country as a national group fitness educator. And this is what led me to build GX United in 2015. I noticed the same questions being asked over and over, and I saw a need for one central location for group fitness instructors to get the resources they need, connect with each other, and learn how to teach scientifically sound group classes. Today, GX United is an educational resource hub dedicated to group fitness. We're empowering fitness innovation through our three pillars, a resource library, learning academy, and workout experiences, both online and in person. We're here for all group fitness instructors. Understanding that fitness is an unregulated industry and there's an estimated 1 million certified instructors and many more teaching in gyms and online without any required certification or training. Our business model is based on our three pillars, our free resource library, our soon to launch subscription based learning academy, offering both monthly subscriptions and individual course purchases, our subscription-based on-demand virtual workout studio, GX United TV, and our soon-to-open live studio, GX United Fitness Co. in downtown Greensboro, where, we, where we'll hold live classes, workshops, and events. While there are 300 plus fitness education companies, we're currently the only platform offering a comprehensive model of both proprietary and non-proprietary resources, education, and workouts across the group fitness spectrum, including indoor cycle, yoga, and Pilates. The Greensboro market includes boutique studios offering a single fitness format and large box gyms that offer a variety of class formats, but don't provide the boutique experience. GX United Fitness Co. will offer a combination of yoga, 
Pilates, bar, and functional strength classes in a boutique setting. Our financial forecasting model shows a viable opportunity to earn $153,000 a year based on our three pillars and our subscription-based model. While it's difficult to predict a post-COVID fitness world, our three pillars give us the opportunity to remain viable in an ever-changing world. As we look at the grand opening of GX United Fitness Co. in downtown Greensboro, we're looking to speak with businesses interested in offering corporate memberships for your employees or helping to support and be part of our grand opening celebration this summer. Again, I'm Summer, I'm the founder of GX United and I'm super grateful for mom and dad all those years ago saying, okay. Hello everybody. My name is Jaquil Fitzpatrick, co-owner of Triad Cleaning Company. And before I get started, I would like to dedicate this presentation to my family and my beautiful newborn daughter, Kendall Fitzpatrick. One Saturday, my wife and I decided to eat at Printworks Bistro. Upon arrival, we noticed a sign that read employee owned. As we sat, looked over our menus and ordered our food on the menu, it stated that the company was employee owned. So before our server could walk away, I stopped him and asked him, sir, what does employee owned mean? Then it happened. A burst of energy and passion radiated from its being and completely electrified our table. He had us captivated in his excitement for the company as he explained employee ownership. Never have I seen a service so passionate about their work. And right then we decided this is what we wanted for our company. At Triad Cleaning Company, we believe we can make people happy by making their lives easier. By being the most reliable cleaning company in the triad, our company will help families keep businesses clean and give people back their time. While developing an employee-owned business model that encourages a dedication to excellence, our company will provide cleaning services for residential, commercial, and governmental contracts. Our current customers consist of residents who want their homes deep clean, who want reoccurring standard cleanings, move in or move out cleanings, and etc. What is going to separate us from our competition is our reliable team of cleaners. By achieving our goal of an employee-owned cleaning company, we will have employees that work not just for money, but for legacy. Also, most of our competitors require you to make a phone call or send emails to get a quote. We, however, can get you a quote online in 60 seconds. Our management team consists of myself and my wife, Markeisha Fitzpatrick. We are the founders and former directors of a 501c3 nonprofit called the American Muscle Fitness Club Association. And we have decided to take all of the experience and lessons we have learned in the nonprofit sector and apply it in the for-profit space. Although we are not cleaners ourselves, we do believe our understanding of management, marketing, and leadership make us an exceptional player in the cleaning industry. The specific industry is a recession-proof business at $308.7 billion and projected to grow to $468.2 billion by 2027 and is expected to grow 6.1% by 2027. Our customer base currently consists of residential customers and we are gearing up to take on commercial clients slash governmental contracts. If there's anyone here that believes in our vision of an employee-owned cleaning business, we would love to take you on as our first client. Currently in our first year of business, by us averaging 35 residential bookings a month, we're on track to grow $67,800 in year one. We are excited for the new revenue stream commercial and governmental contracts will offer us. All in all, as a business, of course, we want to make money, but overall, we want to help people. We want to build a business for cleaners by cleaners. We are asking the Greensboro community for an opportunity to break in the commercial space. Anyone with a lead or looking to have their place of business clean, Triad Cleaning Company will be more than happy to service. If you just need your home clean, I will post our site in the chat. Again, my name is Jaquil Fitzpatrick with Triad Cleaning Company, and thank you all for your time.
So if you need to hire temporary healthcare staff, improve your group fitness outcomes, and or have your home or office cleaned, remember to call Ashley, Summer, or Jaquiel. And congratulations to you all. And finally, we have one last group of volunteers to thank. Our 15 board members who support the work of Launch Greensboro and First Launch Capital Fund. And we have a special shout out to our board chair, Clifford Thompson. His support these last two and a half years has been vital to our growth as an organization and the success of our programming. And so now the final commercial of the night. This Launch Lab Growth Accelerator is one of our key program offerings. And we thank the city of Greensboro for their continued support of this program. As this current spring cohort completes our seventh year of programming. It's amazing to believe we've been around for seven years. Through these last seven years in Launch Lab growth, at Launch Lab alone, we have worked with 335 companies and 395 entrepreneurs. Of those entrepreneurs, over 70% are minority or women-owned, and about two-thirds of those businesses are still in operation today. So if you'd like to join this group of amazing companies and learn more about us, this program, and the many others, other ways we support entrepreneurs in our community and region, please visit our website at launchgreensboro.com. Or again, apply to join our next Launch Lab Growth cohort that begins in September at the bit.ly link on the screen. We'd love to meet you and help you launch and grow your business. And now we welcome our last two presenters. Please welcome Chef Natasha Ford. If you wanna celebrate love and laughter in the kitchen with your family or boost employee morale, Chef Natasha has your answer. And last but not least, meet Dan Brown, founder of Precise 3D Scans. He's helping businesses engage their customers from anywhere with immersive 3D tours. Hi, my name is Natasha Ford and I am the owner of Natasha Chef Incorporated. Growing up in Barbados, I remember as a little girl going to the beach with my family and community to prepare a feast with the catch of the day. Shelling peas in the kitchen with my grandmother after school to help prepare family dinners was the highlight of my day. My father constantly talked about exercising and eating healthy as a fitness trainer and fanatic. These are the memories that represent my heritage as a Barbadian and I want to share them with you. As an award-winning chef and educator, I have achieved several accomplishments, including being awarded a Jane Beer Scholarship, competed on the Food Network and ABC's The Taste. In 2018, I successfully developed a specialized culinary pathways program for adults with disabilities at GTCC in memory of my son, Joshua. In 2020, I fully launched my business offering interactive cooking classes in person and online for HR professionals interested in fun team building activities, executives, mothers hosting virtual birthday parties and girlfriend get togethers, husbands wanted to surprise their spouses with unique date nights, individuals who are intimidated by cooking or have traveled to the Caribbean and want to keep those memories alive by re-engaging their senses. In the summer, we are launching our membership subscription model that includes private cooking parties that explores our culture's rich culinary history with its bold flavors, our music, rolling blue waters, and powdered sands. Our annual members get a Barbadian welcome packet filled with spices and tropical treats. Since the first quarter, we have managed to surpass our 2020 year-to-date revenue by implementing more focused marketing strategies and other systems to support a solid foundation poised for expansion and sustainability. One of our long-term goals is to have a cultural culinary center where we will host events, bringing a slice of Barbados and the Caribbean to Greensboro. We believe Greensboro is the perfect place for our venue with a strong multicultural influence. Additionally, we are passionate about giving back with cooking programs for underserved communities and the special needs population. By the holidays, we plan to bar launch our Barbadian luxury food product line. I'm asking today, for introductions to HR professionals and managers who are looking for team building activities. I'm also asking for referrals for those interested in in-person and online cooking classes. Keep your expectations high. 
by becoming a member of our Caribbean culinary tribe and dazzle friends by booking cooking classes as a post-COVID interactive activity or socialize across borders with one of our, by attending one of our Zoom virtual cooking parties. Sign up today on our website at natashachef.com. Grab your free gift, get monthly food and tropical drink recipes, kitchen tips and tricks. Thank you and let's get cooking. Hello everyone, my name is Dan Brown. I'm the founder of Precise CD Scans and I'm here today to ask for your attention and definitely some business referrals to those you think that can benefit from our solution. The open secret when marketing your business online is that you must rely on standard pictures of video to showcase your business and engage with your prospective customers. Like when you add that cool slideshow to your website homepage, so pictures of your renovated business location, or hire a videographer to do a video of the commercial property you're trying to get leased. All of these forms of marketing content have basically been standard and haven't changed much since the color camera was invented. Every business looks the same online with similar photo and video content fighting to keep prospects on their website and interested in their offerings. I believe just as consumer habits online have evolved, especially during this COVID-19 crisis, so should the way you market your business online. This change is key to converting your prospects to engaged paying customers. Precise 3D Scans makes this possible by creating a 3D virtual tour of your business, which allows your customers to have a self-guided walkthrough of your business as if they were there in person. Our business model utilizes a one-time capture setup fee and platform as a, surface, as a service, so we use a monthly subscription model. Some of our proprietary technology includes me as a founder, my background, working with multiple chemical and design companies and learning at an, old, at an early age AutoCAD from my father who was an engineer. In 2020, I founded this company as client demand skyrocketed and they were constantly contacted me to do more and more projects. We've had me go from being basically doing this as a freelance as something on the side to doing this full time as a business. We are the only custom design and branded 3D virtual tour company here in North Carolina that utilizes Matterport technology as a platform. We also have a network of partners based around the world that can assist us in completing any project anywhere at any time. Some of our local competition includes New Concepts, Ripside Builders, and Carolina 3D Properties. All of these competitors are somewhat similar. However, they do not have the expertise or the level of detail with the projects that we provide at Precise 3D Scans. Our financial growth model, as of April 2021, year to date from 2020, we've made approximately $45,000 in revenue as a business. And this is only across 11 major clients and without any marketing. Our goal really for this year is to make $100,000 if possible. Why us? We provide customized branding and a unique user experience. Our 3D virtual tours have multiple features, can allow for lead generation, Google Analytics, and many other different integrations. And we have the highest qualified personnel within our team. Some business industries we specialize in helping. Commercial real estate, retail and e-commerce, academic organizations, and healthcare businesses. Some of our most research pro recent projects include the large training center in, at, for Apex Tools Groups located in Apex, North Carolina, the Gabby Summer Classics Furniture Showroom in High Point, and the Enclave Student Off-Campus Community, which is part of the Clemson University ecosystem. The current need that we have as a business is we're looking to connect with many local commercial and retail businesses. And we're open to receiving referrals to grow our network and help more and more businesses out there. I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen to my pitch and hopefully we can connect and work together soon one day. What a great way to end the pitch portion of our evening. But remember, if you want to provide a unique Caribbean cooking experience for your family, friends, or staff, or want to better engage with your customer, 
please reach out to Natasha and Dan. So if you've spoken to Jen Hensel or me over the last few months, you now understand why we've been excited about these 11 companies. I wish they could hear your applause and cheers because I know you're joining me in celebrating them all. Their work and effort is evident. So before we move to our networking and demo tables, a few more things to cover. So how often when these pitches conclude, do we get asked, how can we support these great companies? Well, let me just answer that question always. So we've distilled that down to five key points. So as you meet and connect with these companies at their demo tables and so many other startups in our region, please remember these five tips, invest, mentor, share, buy, and connect. Invest in a local startup or fund to support them as they grow. Mentor an entrepreneur with an idea. You really could provide their great aha moment that changes the trajectory of their business. Share your expertise by leading an education session. And if you're interested in doing that, please reach out to us. Always remember to buy local. And of course, make certain to connect entrepreneurs to potential customers. As you know, this is how they survive and grow. So just a few more thank yous, and I, I'm going to get off your screen in a minute. But first, we have to thank FX Media. They are a production and video partner. Tumani works with us to make all the video magic happen. So thank you, Tumani and FX. They are a great local videography company that you can support in those many ways that we just talked about. And of course, a huge thank you to Jim Hensel, Launch Greensboro's assistant director. She works so hard with these companies and through all our programs, helping these companies prepare for tonight's pitch. You should have seen her calendar. Her calendar was so full for two weeks, really, really spending quality time with them. And I imagine they are all thanking her right now as I do as well. Not just for her work on our Launch Lab programming, but all our, her efforts to support and work with entrepreneurs in our region. And we could not do this work without our ecosystem partners as well as our supporters. So thank you so much to all of you. And finally, a last thank you to everyone for being here tonight and everyone who supports this cohort and program, including the City of Greensboro, the Greensboro Chamber, our Board of Advisors, experts who lead education sessions, mentors working with the cohorts, our interns, and so many others. Jen and I thank you. You make our organization better and do such great work guiding these companies through their launch and growth. So thank you again. As we close, remember to stick around and meet these great companies. We're using Hop In for that purpose so that you can really connect with them. Please stay with us and meet the presenting companies in breakout rooms called Sessions. Each company has their own session room where you can pop in to their demo table, have a conversation, then pop out and join another room to connect with that next entrepreneur. Make sure though to turn on your camera and audio so that you can interact with them directly. There's a blue button at the top of the video screen that you need to click to do all of that. And additionally, you have a chance to network with the audience, to meet other civic and business leaders, entrepreneurs, and our mentors and experts in a one-to-one -one video networking feature. This is found in the networking section on the button on the left side of your screen. So go click that, meet some other folks as well. So continue to support these entrepreneurs and so many other entrepreneurs and small businesses in our city and region through these five ways, invest, mentor, share, buy, and connect. Companies like these are the backbone of job growth and the key to our local recovery and economy. So thank you again for joining us tonight. We look forward to meeting you again in person, we hope, for our fall 2021 Launch Lab Growth Demo Day. So see you at the demo tables in each of the sessions.